What up, YouTube? Gideon here, and we are back. Yes, the Shogun is back on the scene, and we're here to let everybody know that we've been doing a little detective work. We got a theory, and we might have cracked the code and figured out what's coming next with this minion rework. So let's take a look at the evidence at hand and see if it pans out. Small disclaimer, in your excitement, do not power up any minions. We simply don't have enough information to make a good decision yet. Anyone who says otherwise is just guessing. And we don't want to make a hasty move that we might regret. You guessed wrong. Let's talk about what we know so far. Ravagers, Mercenaries, and Hydra have all received reworks at some point in recent history, making it less likely that they will be updated. They were all retooled for Alliance War, a PvP game mode, meaning that the spenders have already powered them up. That only leaves Cree, Hand, Aim, and Shield. Let's talk business for a second. This is a company and they're trying to get that money. People aren't gonna spend just to throw a bunch of gear on some old characters. That doesn't make any sense. Also, we probably all have enough gear anyway just to bring those guys up because the minions don't take as much as standard characters do. And if we have extra, that means the whales have extra, so it's not gonna prompt them to do any spending. The so-called cash grab conspiracy holds no weight. You have to give them something to buy. Shout out to Remy Rex. This is one of her old infographics. Do you see a pattern for how they have been making money so far? The trend is simple. Rework teams, blend old characters with brand new ones. So why would this be any different with the minions coming up in the Scourge event? Again, you have to give people something to buy. So really the question is, do we have any indicator as to what team this new character or characters would land on? Remember, they announced Scourges that are minion specific. Undead Swarms. On spawn, all minions gain revive once. Which faction does this help the most? Hydra. In fact, they have skills that activate on revive. Rise anew. On turn, minions flip negative effects. What faction does this help the most? Aim. Guys, if I'm being honest, this sounds like the clincher. This makes aim minions work as intended, even without a lead character. This ability alone makes me think that aim is a target of the next rework. Super Soldier Serum. All minions gain 30% focus, health, crit chance, crit damage, revive health, and active healing. This does help Hydra, but since Hydra had a rework recently, I think that means that it's going to be AIM that gets refurbished. So the new character is probably MODOK, with Zola coming in as a close second. Still, don't be cute and start powering up characters. This is all still just speculation, and if you do it wrong, it may not be you who gets the last laugh. <laughs> In the unlikely event that nothing changes, let's take a look at a few of the minions that have abilities who can help out a team. Not just their own faction, but a team. Admittedly, some are better than others, but teamwork makes the dream work, so let's take a look. First up, Ravagers. Ravager Boomer is the fifth strongest damage dealer within the minions. He has one ability that we should take a closer look at. His special ability, Full Blast, has slight speed bar manipulation. It might come in handy. Ravager Stitcher. His Stitcher kit has a percentage-based health steal. It activates twice. That means he can remove almost a fifth of any opponent's health. Next up, Shield. Let's start with Shield Security. Crowd Control. It lets you stun an enemy that has slow. We used to use this a lot back in the day to keep the nodes under control. Shield Operative. Extrication grants stealth to the most injured ally for two turns and give three stacks of regeneration, allowing them to heal out of harm's way. Mercenaries. 
Mercenary Riot Guard. Rampart. He taunts and gives everybody else defense up. Merc Lieutenant. Call the shots gives offense up and speed up to everyone on your team. Merc Soldier. He has the number one damage stat among minions, followed closely by his partner in crime, the Sniper, who's locked in at number four. AIM. AIM Researcher. Surgery Drone heals the lowest health ally and adjacent allies for percentage-based health. In addition, Antidote hands out random positive effects. AIM Assaulter. Third highest damage stat among minions. Hydra. Hydra Scientist. Test Patient Zero gives death proof and deflect to the most injured ally and percentage based health. Hydra Grenadier. Corrosive Grenade clears a positive effect from the primary and adjacent targets and then does it again. The Hand. Hand Sentry. Smoke Bomb gives stealth to all allies for two turns. Hand Archer. Aerostorm removes one positive effect from each target. Hand Blade Master, second strongest damage dealer among minions. The Kree. Kree Cyborg. If you knock someone out with his energy blaster, he gets an extra attack and gives allies ability energy. Cree Noble. Cree Sidearm. Clear one positive effect and generate ability energy. Imperial Decree. It gives assist to an adjacent ally. Loyalist. Clear one negative effect from one random ally. Cree Oracle. Zeal. Whenever this character or any ally gains energy, Heal them. Shout out to Day Day and KK, two weeks of marriage. Shout out to the Silverhawks family, 30 years of marriage. Love is alive, like and subscribe. Peace.